What is up, guys? Welcome back for our Week 8 battle of the GPC. This week we are taking on El Scizor, Coach Lars, coach of the uh, Borussia Don fan. And uh, we haven't challenged him yet. Let me actually bring that up. See if I can find him here. Scizor. I think that's how you spell it. There we go. Challenge. And anything goes. We have our team here. We have it set up in the calc. Everything's good. Uh, we're ready to go. I am freezing because I just woke up. And it's very cold in my room. But uh, we're going to try to focus and win this game. All right. You ready, guys? I'm going to click challenge. I don't know if he's done his intro yet. So uh, we'll wait for him. Uh, if you haven't checked out the team builder yet, definitely do that. Uh, because uh, I go into depth uh, on each and every single set. So you guys know what I'm bringing. Uh, I had a test game versus Johnny last night, late in the night. Johnny was actually uh, coming back from a party because he's in Germany. It was 11 p.m. here, Eastern. Uh, and for him, it was like 5 a.m. And uh, he still won, but I did... Um, uh, yeah, see, he said he'll do his intro. No problem. Uh, I did miss a Toxic and a Stone Edge uh, during the game, so hopefully that doesn't happen <laughs> this time around and we're able to come out on top. Lars is a very good player, though, and uh, I can see him bringing in some very interesting sets. I can see him calling out the fact that I'm uh, de especially defensive Entei, uh, maybe even especially defensive Hippo. Okay, so not exactly the team that Johnny brought. Now, I did say I expected the Crobat to come, uh, and w isn't this the exact team that I called out in the uh, in the team builder, except for Excadrill, because I really didn't expect that thing to come? Have fun, man. Um, okay. So, I feel like my best lead in this matchup, because of that Deancey, is probably going to be hit out on. Uh, if he leads off with Slowking, we can switch out into Zapdos. It's not a huge deal. So I Or even pivot uh, into Gardevoir first. I really want to lead with Hippo. Exchanging Rocks is not a bad thing. He does have a Defogger and a Rapid Spinner on his team, so that's a little bit annoying. Hopefully he brought Defog. Um, yeah, I'm just going to lead off with Hippo. Because that way, if he leads off with Charizard, I can switch into Entei. If he leads off with uh, Deancey, I can Earthquake it. Uh, yeah, I like the looks of Hippo as a lead. As he leads with Crobat, okay. Is he going to be Super Fang? Um, I guess we'll see. <laughs> so, Crobat leads. Probably because he knew that his lead matchup against Gardevoir wasn't too strong. And he wanted a good lead against that. I'm not sure what this Crobat is going to do. Let me, uh, let me actually just take a look at Crobat real quick. It's not like I need this anymore after this week. Crobat. Uh, actually, hold on. Oh, uh, well, it's gone now. Um, <laughs> I have it, uh, I have it pasted, right? Where, where is it? Here. We'll, we'll bring everything right back. Hold on. There we go. Um, we'll bring up a new team, Crobat. I just want to see if there's anything, like, really funky that he could have brought for Hip Out on. Um, could he be a special set? He could. Is he getting any water, ground, grass moves like Grass Knot? Doesn't look like he does. Uh, does he get Mirror Coat? No, it does not seem like he does either. Okay. Alright, so I think we're pretty much free to get up our rocks here. Uh, as he goes for a U-turn, absolutely fine. We'll see what uh, Lars wants to go into. Kind of anticipating the Charizard to come out here. Um, well, then again, I could just go for a Stone Edge, so that might not be the best play. I uh, could go into Slowking, which is also a very good play. Yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. Let's see if it's... Uh, well, we don't know. I don't think we know if it's Leftovers yet. Does Leftovers trigger after Sandstorm? Uh, yes, it does. Okay, so I don't think he's Leftovers. Alright, so what I want to do here is I want to use Gardevoir as a Pivot. Uh, into this Slowking. That's what I said I would do. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch out into Gardevoir. Get the Regenerator. As we see, he is Regenerator. We're going to take Scald. We're not going to get burned, luckily. And now we have Regenerator, so we can switch right back out. And pretty much just go into Tweety at this point, I think, uh, is absolutely fine. Uh, that way, if he brings in Crobat, I'm pressuring that thing. I'm just going to get the Regen. And uh, we're going to go back up to 93%, which is very nice. Going to be very nice for the Titar, especially... Um, 
That Deancey is looking kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I need to catch this Slowking with a Toxic at some point. From Entei. I gotta find a way to get Entei in. I couldn't lead with it. Uh, just because he has, like... He has Deancey, he has Titar, so I, I couldn't risk that. But I can definitely, uh... I can definitely switch out into Zapdos here. Man, I'm shivering, man. Whoa! Alright. Take a sip of water. Let's relax. It's just Lars. Just Lars. Goes for a Scald. Gets a crit. Gets a burn. A little bit annoying. Uh, Tweety is still viable, though. Uh, I could just Scald. Uh, I could just, uh, sorry, Roost off this damage. Um, he does not want to take a T-Bolt. I can't see him staying in here. So... I'm just going to Volt Switch out, actually. He might bring in his Deancey at this point, because it is probably specially defensive to take on my Gardevoir. Um, let me actually just see if Deancey gets Mirror Coat. Deancey. Do you get Mirror Coat? I would assume you do. No, you don't. Okay, cool. Alright, so it's not like he can bounce back my, uh, my Hyper Voice. It's a little bit annoying that uh, Tweety is uh, this weakened. He actually stays in with his Slow King, so very interesting. Uh, not sure exactly what he's gonna go for, but I think again I can just go into Gardevoir here as he's going to fire off another Skull. I guess he's just fishing for burns at this point, uh, but he's taking a lot of damage in the process and I really just want to go for a Psy Shock at this point, uh, predicting the Crobat to want to come in. I know that's probably not the best play though. What is my best play? I really need to get rid of this thing though. This thing is annoying. How much does Crit Skull do? 43. So regular would do about 30, 28. Which means I wouldn't die with Sand. Uh, with Sand being gone. So I could just go back into Tweety. And roost off the damage. Uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Let's see if he stays in. He goes for an Iron Tail. Okay. Alright, interesting. Very cool, Lars. I like, I like. Slowking. Slowking, defensive, um, versus Zapdos. I just want to see, he took that Volt Switch a little too well. Uh, this is indeed my set. Uh, so he has a lot of Spadef. In fact, he might even be AV. 31%. Let's see. 252. Careful. Uh, 38 is a mineral. Yeah, I think he's either this or assault vested. Let's see. Yeah, he's assault. He's AV. Okay. All right. How much does T bolt do then? 40 to 48. I'm gonna roost here as uh, he decides to go into Excadrill, which is absolutely fine. Like I said uh, in the team builder, we do have the Charty Berry, so we will be able to take his um his rock slide excadrill with the charty berry he's a sand rush sweeper his rock slide from a life orb adamant set is only doing 31 to 37 so i could just heat wave here realistically how much does my heat wave do 78 to 92 that's uh that's a fair amount of damage actually and you know what? I'm actually just going to fire it off. He does pull a double into his Slow King, I guess, scouting. Uh, that's Oh, we do get the burn on the Heat Wave. Ooh, that's going to help enormously. I would have preferred having this thing toxic. But honestly, you know what? I'll take it. I will take it. And we were we are going to roost off this damage. And we can like roost stall his, his Slow King. Now that we know it probably doesn't have Slack Off. Because it's, uh, it's, it's a Salt Vest, right? It has to be. That's the only way he would have stayed in on a Gardevoir, is if he was a Salt Vest. So, let's see what he does. He's going to double out into Titar. Uh, Depitar, Derpitar. <laughs> I love his nickname. Um, not sure if I want to switch out here. I do have Rob as an immediate response to this, uh, because we are um, max HP. So we can definitely take this thing's hits. And he's switching in on rocks every single turn. So, I think I definitely want to keep Tweety, specifically for the Excadrill, if anything. Um, so, I am going to pull a switch. I don't want to stay in here. I'm going to go directly into Mean Chow. As he goes for Ancient Power, 
Does not get the boosts, which is nice. <laughs> Whew! Dodged a bullet there. Um, now, Ancient Power. So you're special, right? Which means you're probably carrying Ice Beam. Something I kind of expected. Tyranitar. Uh, is there a special set here? Uh, oh, you support. How much do you take from a U-turn from Mean Show? Where's Rob? Let's just say he has max HP, a little bit of defense. U-turn does 24 to 29, which means he would allow this thing to get weakened in the process. So I think I am just going to U-turn here. Uh, as he does go into Crobat, I was so ready to Stone Edge, guys. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> it was it was this close. <laughs> you guys can't see my fingers, but it was this close. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to bring in his, uh, his Crobat here. Now, should he defog here? He'll have to take a Volt Switch, and he will die. I believe. Uh, UU support from Zapdos. Let's find out. Tweety. Volt Switch is very close to killing him. Uh, actually, it, it is killing him, even if he's max HP. So that's very, uh, it's, it's a very precarious situation for him. And now that I know that his T-Tar is a special set, uh, does Tyranitar get any special steel or poison moves? That's kind of what I'm wondering here. Titar. Do you get any poison? No. Or steel? Okay, your steel moves are physical. So, do you have anything for Gardevoir? That's my question. I really just want to roost here. I don't want to allow him to get rid of rocks, but at the same time, like... Okay, he's going to roost. Awesome. So are we. And because of the sta sand damage, he can keep roosting. Uh, however, we're a little bit healthier now, which is nice as well. And Sand is about to end, uh, unless he's a smooth rock, which is possible. So, gotta keep that in mind. Gotta keep Entei and Hippo as healthy as possible for Charizard. So, I gotta be careful about what I choose to go into here. Um, he's actually at full, so staying in here on a Volt Switch would be very detrimental to him. I'm glad he roosted, actually. That's good. And we know he's Black Sludge. So, alright. We're looking okay. We're, we're not in too bad of a situation. His Slowking is burned and comes in on rocks. His uh, My rocks are up, which is amazing for this Crobat and for the Charizard. His T-Tar took a little bit of damage, and it is going to have to take a Volt Switch right here. Uh, so that's going to do a nice amount. And that just means we go right back out into Rob, I believe, uh, and continue the Volt Turning action. So we could do that. Um, except I don't have a good response to this if I switch out. So, I'm kind of wanting to Stone Edge here. Like, really badly. Mean Shao. I'm not making any plays yet, that's the thing. It's like I'm afraid to make plays. Stone Edge isn't gonna do too much to Crobat. Like, it'll, it'll put it in range of another one, obviously, but it's not gonna kill it. Which is the annoying thing. So maybe I should just keep U-turning. Um, let me just see T Tyranitar, T T T Tar. Um, your support set. U turn's gonna do 24 to 29. It's still a good amount of damage, and he has to switch out on and like. And he, if he lets this go down right here to a fighting move, he loses his sand, which is huge for me. So he has to be extremely careful. Let's uh, let's just go for a U turn. Again, that that Crobat is annoying, but there's nothing I can do about it. I can almost start setting up with Yuxi. I just need a little bit more damage. Actually, this thing is in range of a uh, hidden power fighting. So, after it comes back in on rocks, I mean. Okay, he's gonna go into his Deancey for the first time this game. So that's very interesting. Uh, now, I do have a Spadef uh, Hippo right here. I just wanna see if he's Deancey with max defense. Uh, UU defensive. Versus Hippowdon. Actually, first again, first of all, against Mian Chao, U-turn would have only done five to six percent, and that's exactly what it did. It did six percent. So he has a lot of defensive investment. Let's just see against Hippowdon. Hippowdon. Mixed wall. Well, let's bring up ours. Are actually uh, glorious earthquake does forty-two to fifty actually, regardless. So, it is a two-hit KO. How interesting. Alright. We're going into Hippo. 
Um, his slow king comes in at uh, 65, takes an earthquake, and gets burned. And we already know that he's an assault vest variant. So I'm just going to quake right here. As he does go into Crobat. Absolutely fine. Um, I'm not sure if this thing is his defogger anymore. Because he hasn't clicked it once. He hasn't prioritized getting rid of rocks. So I'm curious. Uh, Crobat. Support. I want, I want to just see how much a Brave Bird would do to us. 24 to 28, that's not enough. And how much is Rock Slide doing? 36 to 42? Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay, he is, he is Defog. Okay. We're going to get off this Rock Slide. And now he's put into a situation where he has to make a prediction. Do I click Earthquake and predict his Roost? Or do I click Stealth Rocks again? So this is a very, this is actually a very difficult situation for Lars right now. Uh, he's put on the back foot. I don't know if he was expecting this kind of team. Because he doesn't seem too overly prepped for it. So I am just going to click Earthquake. He's going to U-turn. And I'm assuming the Slow King is going to come out here. As it does. Okay, cool. So we're going to get off a nice... Whoa! That did a lot more than I expected. <laughs> okay. Now his Crobat is sitting at... Um, 40%. I've switched out into Gardevoir every single time. But I don't think I can afford my Hippo getting burned, is the thing. Now, I'm not going to take too much from a Skull. It's only going to do 36 to 43. So, realistically, I could just stay in. But I feel like he's going to double and try to conserve this. So, you know what? I'm going to go for Rocks. Awesome, okay, cool, we catch the Crobat. Um, he could just defog. Uh, he could also just roost. Now I have to predict wh which move he's gonna go for. Ah, Lars, don't do this to me, man. All right, he's got U-turn on deck. He's got roost and defog. What is his last move? It wouldn't be Brave Bird, because I have a Zapdos. Did he bring Super Fang? Because that's definitely a possibility. Now, the thing is, my Rock Slide didn't do enough to where I'm, like, extremely threatening right now. But I'm going to click Rock Slide anyway. Okay, he roosts. I could have Earthquake there. It wouldn't have taken out his Crobat, but, I mean, it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to Rock Slide again because it'll do the most damage. And this thing can't do anything to me. It's just here to defog. So if I call the turn that he goes for a, uh, a Roost correctly then he's in a bad position. I'm just going to Stealth Rocks. Yeah, he's going to go for Brave Bird. That's not going to do anything. I'm going to go for Rocks. And now I'm going to go for a Rock Slide. Actually, hold on a second. Would he Roost on this turn? I feel like he would Roost on this turn. Guys, if I'm just being honest. So, I'm going to Quake. Okay, now he goes for a Defog. So, good play. Uh, but, I mean, he's just giving me Leftovers rounds. So, we know his whole set as well, which means we know that he can't Oko Gardevoir, which is nice. Uh, he'll probably just always U-turn on it anyway. Uh, but we'll just get back up our rocks. I mean, I'm not losing anything. He's just staying in here, wasting PP. I haven't used a single slack off yet. So, we're, we're looking fine. I mean, as long as these rocks stay up, we are looking fine, guys. I just, I just need to keep them up. I need to damage the Deancey. We know it's fully Fizz Def, so actually knowing that... I just want to calculate calc something really quickly, guys. Um, not especially defensive. I want to see physically defensive. How much it takes from a uh, Gardevoir's Hyper Voice. Gardevoir, 4 chan. It takes 52 to 61. That's a good amount of damage. <laughs> Whew. All right. Um, yeah. And he goes for a U-turn. We're going to get back up our rocks. This thing is going to come back in even lower. And now I'm assuming this Tyranitar is fully special. Um, but what are you going to do to me? I'm especially defensive Hippowdon. Glorious versus Tyranitar. Like, what could you have? Aqua Tail? Support? Like, I can even calc the ancient power from earlier. If I take a look, it did 20% to 
to rob. So let's calc that. Let's give him ancient power, right? And let's go to Mean Shao. I just want to see what his spread is. Rob, ancient power. Okay, it's obviously not relaxed, but it's probably not modest either. Oh, hold on a second. Actually, he has a lot of spatak investment. So how much is his ice beam going to be doing to Hippo? Hold on. Still only takes 36 to 43 from, from an ice beam. Now, I don't really want to lose this, but this has an opportunity to slack off on his Crobat every single time. So I'm just going to Quake. He's got Surf. Uh, it's not going to do enough, and we're going to be able to knock out the T-Tar. So we get the first knockout of the game right there. All right, cool. Charizard might come in here. Excadrill might also come in. Because now he knows that I'm fully Spadef. So Excadrill can actually hurt me. Uh, Sandrush Sweeper. Earthquake to Hippowdon does min 49. So he's going to bring in his, um, his Charizard. Now, something that I discussed with, um, with Johnny when we had our test game was that he could bring a special set but with Earthquake to deal with uh, Entei. So I just want to see something. GLG. Quake only does 35 to 40. Uh, if he's like a naive nature, it's going to do 39 to 46. Okay. So I definitely want to keep this in the back right now. Um, yeah, I'm just going to switch into Entei. Entei's pretty solid here. If he gets up a Dragon Dance, I lose. <laughs> Uh, he goes for Fire Blast. We're able to take that relatively well. And if he brings in his Slow King, I'll be able to knock it out on the following turn with a Solar Beam. So I'm just going to Stone Edge here. Uh, and if he wants to go into... He lost his Sand Starter, which means if we never bring in Hippo again, his Excadrill will never be faster than Gardevoir unless it's Scarfed. Which is really nice. So... Yeah. Alright. It's looking pretty good. We do have this nice Entei set here. Go into Slow King, Lars. Go into Slow King. Take the Stone Edge, take the Rocks, take the Burn. Take all that unnecessary damage. He goes into uh, Deancey, which is a nice play. I'm going to miss a Stone Edge. It's not a huge deal. What I can actually do is I can Will-O-Wisp this thing and prevent its um, Diamond Storm from doing as much to me. Like, let me just see a UU defensive set, how much Diamond Storm would be doing normally. 57 to 67. Now, okay, hold on, how do I want to play this? Okay, wait a minute, he has no spadef, right? So he takes 36 to 43 from a solar beam right now. Do I just want to get rid of this thing? We know he has defog, so if he gets up his own rocks, he's going to have to get rid of them at some point as well, or else he's taking way too much damage. So you know what, I'm going to pray that we don't miss this, and I'm going to go for Will-O-Wisp. Let's see if he has the heal bell. He goes for Toxic, okay, to wear me down. Awesome. All right, cool. So we can keep uh, Entei now. And what I can actually do is uh, I can switch into... I can switch into uh, Knowledge pretty freely, actually. Like, he doesn't have recovery on the Slow King. He's AV, which means we set up all over it. I think Yuxi just wins. Guys, I think Yuxi just wins. It looks that way. Because I have HP fight for the Excadrill. His Slow King, unless it burns me... I have rest too. No, I... I Yuxi just wins. I just have to sack something. Okay. Let me calm down. Let me think for a second. Because... Okay. I'm gonna Solar Beam here. Because it doesn't only cover the Deancey, it also covers the Slow King. So I'm going to Solar Beam. There we go. I'm going to do a nice 37% to this thing. He's going to go for Rocks. That's fine. Uh, again, Yuxi is just straight up winning this game for me. Uh, and I can even just go for a Solar Beam right now because I don't lose anything at all. Again, he has to Defog at some point, right? So, uh, Rob is still faster than his Charizard. Rob is faster than everything but the Crobat at this point uh, because Sand isn't up anymore. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to 
I think conserve Entei. He only has one more hit off with Charizard, unless he defogs. So, I'm not too worried. Um, I'm just going to go for Solar Beam again. Just knock this thing out. Yes, I'm going to take a little bit more toxic damage. But again, if he wants to bring in his Charizard at a good enough health at this point, he has to go and defog the, these rocks away. He doesn't have a choice. So, we're looking okay. Uh, the Excadrill could easily come in here, though. And knock us out. So, we got rid of his two rock types. Which is cool. Uh, we got rid of his Sand Starter. His... Um... His Slow King is burned. His Charizard doesn't look like it can touch our Entei. He's gonna go into Excadrill. That is the correct play. Now, if I can't bring in Zapdos here freely, this is the issue. All right, hold on a second. Gardevoir pretty much destroys his entire team at this point. How much is his Crobat at? I don't remember how much I left it at. I think it was at like 67. Hold on. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go through all that. No, there's no way. Now the problem with this uh, Exc Excadrill right here is that if it's a Swords Dance set, well, no, I have Protect and I have. Okay, I'm. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. So I could just stay in here and Wisp. Uh, we already established that his Charizard only gets one more switch in, so this is pretty good. I could go straight into Knowledge, who's Max Fizz Def. Yuxi. Uh, where's Knowledge? I've named it so many different things. <laughs> Excadrill. I just want to see if he's like a, a Swords Dance set. His Iron Head is normally doing 34 to 41, so I don't think I can really risk that, especially when Yuxi is looking like the win condition. I think I'm just going to Wisp. Honestly, guys. Uh, I have Rob that's faster than everything except for the Crobat at this point, and I still have two Psychic types. So he's going to go for Rock Slide. It's going to fail to knock us out. And we're going to miss Wisp. Ah, come on, man. That sucks. Okay. It's not a huge deal. Um, we still have the Charty Berry, so we can take the hit. I could just go into Knowledge here. Uh, or Rob, actually. Rob's not too bad. Yeah, you know what? Uh, is he... Is he Choice Scarf? Did he show an ability? Now, Johnny... <laughs> he put a little face in the chat uh, for me missing Wisp, but it's okay. Uh, Johnny brought a Choice Scarfed Sand Force Excadrill against me. So that I wouldn't know that he was Mold Breaker or Sand Rush. Which was brilliant. Did we see an ability when he came in? No. Okay. So he could be Sand Force. In which case, you know what? I think Yuxi just wins. Let's... Okay, if he's Scarfed, he's locked into Rock Slide right now, which means he won't want to stay in with this. I think I'm just going to go into Mean Show. Uh, he still has the Crobat. This is a tough situation for me. Um, Because if he is a Swords Dance variant, he's going to be doing so much to me with Iron Head, and he's going to be able to knock out my Zapdos, and then I'm going to be low on resources, and I can't let that happen. All right, you know what? I think we're going to chance it. We're gonna go straight into Yuxi. All right, here goes. Let's uh, let's try to go for the 5-0, guys. This is it. Let's see if we can secure it. Let's see what he does. That Charizard comes in at 1%. He goes for Toxic, that's fine. We're a rest. We do have rest. Alright, we're gonna go for Calm Mind. We are going to... He does have Toxic. Okay, so this means he's not Scarfed, which is great. That's great to know. I'm just gonna go for Hidden Power Fighting here, as he is gonna go into Slow King. Now, as we discussed uh, with Johnny, this is setup fodder for me. <laughs> this is me literally just clicking Calm Mind again. And then I'm just gonna rest. And he's taking burn damage, and we know he's Assault Vest. So... He's not getting very far with this. He's going to go into his Crobat. I'm going to click Calm Mind again. And he's probably just going to U-turn here, I would assume. Or he's going to Roost. One or the other. Either way, how much is U-turn from a Crobat going to do? We already know that Excadrill's Life Orb, which 
We didn't see Life Orb on it, right? It didn't take damage. So we know it's not Life Orb. Okay, we can take that away. We also know it's not Sandrush, so it's, uh, there's a very high chance that it's Jolly. Uh, but I'm just going to keep Adamant just in case. Iron Head to Uxie does 31%. So what I can do here is I can allow his Crobat to U-turn on me. And pretty much no matter what he goes into... Um... Yeah, because his U-turn only does 20%. We're on third round of Toxic. So 20 goes down to 14. And then I take 18. So that's 32. So I go down to 37%. I can take his Iron Head. I can take his Fire Blast. Right? I'm pretty sure I can take his Fire Blast. Uh, with a plus 2 Spadef. <sighs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, well, you know what? If he U-turns, he comes back in at, what, 18%? Do I lose anything by resting? Because I'm leftovers, right? The only thing I lose from resting is that his Excadrill can come in and start hitting me. But the strongest move he has to hit me with is Earth is Iron Head. And we already calced that if he's not Life Orb, even if he's Adamant... Unless he's Shadow Claw, that's that's definitely a possibility, but um, Iron Head does 31% max, which means after Leftovers, it's like a 4-hit KO. Yeah, it's a 31% ch chance to 4-hit KO after Leftovers. I can rest here. He's going to go for U-Turn. I'm assuming Slow King is going to come in. He's actually just going to go hard into Excadrill, so good play. I'm just going to rest up. And now he has, to, he has a decision to make. Unless he has Shadow Claw. If he has Shadow Claw, then he played this very well. I will admit, this is very well played on Lars's part if he has Shadow Claw. Uh, but I am just going to click Calm Mind. He hasn't seen my last move yet. He might think that I'm Sleep Talk and that I have absolutely nothing to hit the Slow King or the Crobat. But I do, in fact, have a Psychic move. I'm curious to see if he's ever going to get rid of these rocks because his Charizard is coming in at 1%. It'll die to a U turn. So I'm not sure if that's the kind of position that he wants to put himself in. But. Uh, I definitely should have prepped a little bit more for Crobat, guys. I'm not going to lie. I did expect it to come. I set it in the team builder, but I didn't prep enough for it. So that's kind of a little bit of a faux pas on my part. All right, let's see what this Excadrill has. If it has Shadow Claw, then kudos to Lars, honestly. Because that's going to do... Actually, that's not going to do a lot more than Iron Head. That's a guaranteed four-hit KO after Leftovers. Wait, what? Hold on, and we're Max Fizz Def. I'm not even calcing with the... Am I calcing with the right? Yeah, I am, I am, I am. Okay. Alright, he's just gonna go into Crobat. I'm gonna burn off a turn of sleep. What is this thing even gonna do, gonna do to me? It's just gonna U-turn. It's doing 17% with a U-turn. Alright, I can click anything because I know I'm staying asleep this turn. He's gonna go for a Defog. But the problem here is... I get up another Calm Mind. Unless I want to go for an HP Fighting predicting the Excadrill because how much is that going to take that's going to take a good amount that's going to take 53 to 63 do I do that no I think Psy Shocking is fine because it still gets off necessary damage like if you can see here 28 to 33 on the driller so he's going to bring in his Slow King not exactly sure why I don't know what his idea is here uh, again he's just giving me more Calm Minds so, I don't know if he's trying to force me to rest, but I think Yuxi is just going to sweep up this game, guys. I think Yuxi is just going to get four kills. Honestly. That just did 21%. After one more round of burn, he's dead. And after I go for Calm Mind one more time... Like, he has to pray for a burn here. No, he just swaps back out into Excadrill. Okay. I, I don't understand what Lars is trying to do here. Is he just trying to toxic me again? Yeah, you're forcing a rest, but you just took 65% on your Excadrill. And now I knock you out with a Psy Shock. I do 35% min. I can just click Psy Shock. Okay, he's going for the flinches. He has to, yeah, that's his only play. Alright, so we're gonna get off uh, that kill on Excadrill. That thing is gone, which is huge. I just need the Crobat gone. Let me get rid of the Crobat. <laughs> Please. Let me kill it. <laughs> Oh my god, are we about to 5 0 L Scizor? With Yuxi. Dom, Dom, this is your set, dude. 
This is your set. Come on. Whew. I, have t I tweaked it a little bit. <laughs> you suggested Shadow Ball, and I went for Rest instead, which I think was a great call now that I'm looking at it. I think he just loses to this. He let his Titar go down. He let his Deancey go down. Like, he never had anything for this in the first place, honestly, because I brought Rest. This was the exact, almost the exact set that beat Trev. I just had Shadow Ball and Thunder Wave instead of, um, instead of Psy Shock and Hidden Power Fighting. Calm Mind Rest. Calm Mind Rest Uxie, man. This thing is so good. <laughs> Why is this thing so good? His Kobak can't do any damage to me. This thing can't touch me. And now that I'm at plus three, I've only taken, what, two rounds of Toxic, so I'm going to take 18%. That'll put me at 49, plus the Leftovers puts me at 55. His U-turn does 17. That puts me down to 43. At plus three, Spadef. Um, no, hold on. He puts me down to 38. Okay. Uh, do I take Charizard's Fire Blast now? I can't even spell Charizard. Charizard. It's like the most simple thing to, to spell. In the Sun does 34 <laughs> <gasps> I can Psy Shock here freely. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't know if he's going to attempt to Roost, but I can take any one of his hits now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yo. I don't think he was prepped for my team, man. I don't know what, what Lars prepped for. I don't know if he was looking at a different team on the on the sheet, but I feel like he just wasn't ready for this Uxie. Honestly. Like, no, no bashing to Lars. Lars is an amazing player. Guys, go check him out in the description, please. I left a link to his to his channel in the uh, in the Team Builder video as well. Lars is phenomenal. He's, a, he's an amazing player. But I honestly, from what Johnny said, I thought I had a terrible matchup this week. I think Yuxi alone makes this matchup extremely easy. Because once I eliminate Titar and I find out that the Slow King has no recovery, I'm good to go. He's going to Brave Burn on that turn, which is actually a very good play. Because now, with the Toxic, I'm potentially in range of a Fire Blast. So, he's going to go into Charizard. Should he... Yeah, this could be bad. Do I want to keep this? Because how much is he doing to me at plus one if I set up again? 56 max. Or do we just play with the roll? Because right now, right now he's doing 34% maximum to me, at most. It's 28 to 34. And we are currently at 31.2, so it's it's a 50-50. He plays that correctly and goes for Brave Bird. That was a very nice play on Lars's part. Um, good news is I have Protect. <laughs> I have Protect on Gardevoir, so I can actually stall out the Slow King. Which is awesome. Um, do I just let Yuxi go down here and just go for a Psy Shock? Because he can't switch out anymore after that. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go for a Psy Shock. He's going to go for the Fire Blast. He's going to miss out on the roll. Oh, that sucks. I mean, I guess that kind of makes up for the fact that I missed my Will-O-Wisp on his Excadrill. Um, all I have to do here is go into Tweety. I'm just going to go into Tweety. I'm going to click Volt Switch. And we are going to bring this thing down super low. I'm going to go into Gardevoir to be able to take any single hit. Going to get that Regenerator. He's going to go for Scald in the sun. Not going to do much. He is going to crit us. Uh, I'm not going to... I'm gonna, just going to show off my set and go for Protect. And uh, that is going to be GG. Oh my god. Yo, we just beat El Cesar. Yes! Whew! Should I be more hyped? I'm like super hyped. Wow. Yo, I just, I let Yuxi go down there. I, I wasted a little bit of differential, but we still got a 4-0. We still got a 4-0. Whoa. Yo, I am, I am reeling right now, man. Is that even a word? I don't know. <laughs> Yo, I know this is a long video, guys, but uh, if you did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Let me know what you thought of the battle and how we played in the comment section down below. I really think that we played a solid game. And that we got rid of Titar, and that opened the door to UC. Like, that was just... I looked at his team, and I was like, what does he have for this? He has absolutely nothing for UC anymore. 
Um, and he missed out on the roll on the fire blast. That was very unfortunate. I'm just going to upload and share this replay. I'm standing right now, guys, because I'm like super hype. I'm super excited. Super happy that we were able to win. Uh, got not the roll I needed on that Uxie. Yeah, I know. It was 50-50. 50-50. Yeah, Lars, uh, it was very annoying, Mon. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching, uh, again, and, uh, yeah. I have to, I have nothing else to say. I'm just, whew, I'm, I'm really happy right now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Ciao.